Good evening, folks. This is Mayuresh Joshi, and I've got the entire Matlisa India team, Pongari Rajshekar, Rushit Sechpal, and Bakar Khan. And as usual, we are back to discuss what is going on today. Stock of the week. And what you are seeing on stock is on your screen, JSW Infra. This is Markets with India's stock of the week. As usual, we will go through the same process. Bakar Industry will tell you a little bit about it. Rushit will let us know the financial results. और नंबर्स कैसे रहे जीएस जबकि इंफ्रा के और राजशेखर बताएंगे कि क्या ये स्टॉक कैंसलिंग के सारे पैरामीटर्स फुलफिल कर रहा है कि नहीं एट दिस पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम सो विदाउट फर्दर अडू मैं बकार को हैंड ओवर करता हूं टू हेल्प अस अंडरस्टैंड इंडस्ट्री डायनामिक्स कैसे है और जीएस जबकि इंफ्रा इसमें कैसे है थैंक यू मयूरेश थैंक यू maritime solutions or maritime services. If we talk about simple things, it's about cargo handling, storage solutions on the port, logistics service, and some value-added offerings as well. If we talk about some facts, so JSW Infra is the second largest private port operator in India. And it has a 170 MTPA capacity, very well connected or has good presence in the west coast as well and the east coast as well uh, in maharashtra goa karnataka tamil nadu odisha uh, one of their largest uh, port operations is in maharashtra it is the jaigar port uh, they've got onm contract uh, that is to uh, operate and uh, manage uh, two terminals in uae as well as in fujera in Deba in uae अगर हम इंडस्ट्री के बारे में समझने की ट्राई करेंगे, तो अगेन दिस सेक्टर और दिस इंडस्ट्री कम्स अंडर दी ओवरऑल इंफ्रा पुश दैट द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया इज डूइंग एट दिस मोमेंट। अगर हम इस साल का भी कैपिटल एक्सपेंडिचर अगर गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया का देखेंगे तो इट्स रुपीस में 11.1 ट्रिलियन � and various schemes, जैसे के specifically for maritime और specifically for ports, such as Sagar Mala, which is 100 billion dollar plus plan for port modernization uh, works very well for uh, the company. Overall, if we look at the presentation, dekhenge, some key facts about the industry. So at this moment, uh, uh, port capacity uh, in India as of FI 23 is around 2,600 uh, metric ton, which is expected to quadruple in the next 25 years to 10,000. And what the major point is that out of the 2,600, 12 major ports constitute to around uh, 60 to 70 percent of uh, the capacity that is handled. So that is why big players will always have uh, advantage uh, going forward. Uh, up till now, uh, for the company, uh, they are expanding in brownfield, greenfield expansion and also some strategic expansions as well. Uh, one of uh, the thing that was a major concern for certain investors some years back was that uh, the bulk handling that they were doing uh, majorly around 70% or 71% in FI21 was coming from the JSW group. So there was concentration issue. But if you look at the Q1 FI25 numbers, then uh, that 71% has come down to 50%. That is, they are getting business from third party vendors or third party contracts as well. So even the concentration risk at this moment is decreasing. So Industry is very well placed. The company is very well placed to cater to the growth in the sector going forward. So that's it from my side. Perfect. And two, three points. I'm going to add. That, that, like the Bakar industry, and this, about it, I've explained well. Balance sheet cash rich. Around 190 to 200 crore cash in their books. Above. Capex is doing in a calibrated way. They are putting a slurry pipeline. They are putting 300 kilometers. I think around 200 kilometers. Right? Bakar has already been done. Of that slurry pipe, which yes. will start in the next 4-6 months. Last but not least, the plans in the brownfield capex are calibrated capex. So I think there is a lot of leverage. So I think uh, appropriately placed in terms of uh, India's infra and growth story. But how are the numbers stack up? Rushit, are numbers justifying uh, the kind of potential that the stock has? Numbers are the numbers? What is the hope of the numbers? What is the hope of the numbers for the going forward? Mm -hmm. Yes, the number is better if we look at FY21 to 24 CAGR ka revenue, ka, to that is 34%. Okay, and if we look at Q1, it's about 1100 crore and 20% growth on the YOI basis. Hai. 
फुल ईयर लास्ट ईयर 4000 के ऊपर इनका रेवेन्यू चला गया था 4000 करोड़ के ऊपर अभी एबिटा की बात देखें तो 36 परसेंट सी ए जी आर टू ट्वेंटी में और वो 2200 करोड़ जितना है लास्ट ईयर उतना था Q1 में भी वो 24 परसेंट वाई वाई बढ़ के सिक्स नाइन करोड़ आया है पैट का सी एस सिक्सटी परसेंट विच इज एक्सलेंट सो रेवेन्यू एबिटा पैट बहुत बढ़िया है मार्जिन दे आर एबल टू मेंटेन उसमें भी कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है वॉल्यूम ग्रोथ इज ऑल्सो गुड अभी क्यू वन में अपने को नाइन परसेंट वाई वाई वॉल्यूम ग्रोथ मिला ट्वेंटी सेवन पॉइंट एट एम टी पे एंड इफ यू लुक एट द ट्रांसक्रिप्ट सो मैनेजमेंट हेज गाइडेड की टेन टू ट्वेल्व परसेंट वॉल्यूम ग्रोथ आएगा ये साल में सो आई थिंक नेक्स्ट फ्यू क्वार्टर विल बी एक्सपेक्टेड टू बी रियली गुड for the company so overall revenue wise profitability wise it is well stake plus abhi jo unhone naukar corp ka acquisition kiya hai that will also help them to you know boost their revenue as well as profitability further and they are getting really good projects as vakar was discussing jis tarah se government ka infra push hai abhi abhi unko recent quarters mein tamil nadu mein mila tha jo gati shakti ka terminal hai wo banane ka kaam so there also they are expanding so overall the revenue as well as the earnings this way super so i think ek pura perspective mil gaya uh, vakar ne industry jsw ke dynamics uh, samjhaye uh, rushit ne samjhaya ki kaise placed hai numbers ke hisab se but ye stock kaise placed hai cancelling ke parameters pe ye samjhane ke liye main bhi handover karunga rajshri ko so rajshri sir how is this placed from a cancelling perspective Yes, Mayush. Uh, it has been placed very good uh, from the cancelling perspective. If you talk about uh, base formation, it has been very ideal. If you look at the price volume action during the base uh, formation, when the stock came down, the volume has been significantly lower, which is a very good sign that uh, not much action from the institutions. It has been retailers uh, who have exited the stock. That is one of the major sign uh, which we look. Uh, In the base formation, which is very ideal in this case, the stock is still a four percent below pivot, uh, which makes it a very good case uh, for us uh, to pick it as a stock of the week uh, because when it breaks out, uh, we'll have some time to take uh, positions. And if you look at the ratings, it has uh, the ratings have been very good. EPS is very good at eighty three. The uh, Rishi has pointed out about the earnings. Uh, it has been able to generate very good CAGR in terms of sales and profits. the same is reflected in the eps strength and price strength has been very stable at 74 and if you look at the rs line it is improving steadily and as when the stock breaks out uh, definitely it will also improve from here and it might move to 80 as well by a demand again a technical parameter which uh, talks about accumulation or distribution in the stock has been excellent at uh, a Which indicates that there is been very good accumulation in the stock. Uh, the same can be seen in the stock's uh, uh, volume action as well. Uh, most of the bars, which are above average, are blue bars, uh, indicating good amount of accumulation. So overall, on uh, both fundamentals and technicals, uh, the ratings have been very good. The formation has been very ideal as well. Number of fund section also, if you look at, has been very significant improvement. Almost uh, more than fifty percent of growth in terms of number of funds. so which is a very good sign that uh, institutional investors are getting attracted to the company it's a recently listed company so definitely uh, we will look uh, that number is going to increase uh, from here so overall on most of the parameters it is ticking the boxes and uh, 360 is the pivot level for the stock and 360 to 380 is the level to watch out for uh, to take uh, fresh investments in the stock perfect so i think uh, we've covered All aspects, uh, industry dynamics, company aspect, numbers, how is it placed on a cancelling parameters, uh, and in our opinion, I think it uh, checks all the check boxes, ticks all the check boxes that are required. So, uh, this is our stock of the week, JSW Infra from the Market Smith India Research Team. Uh, hope you like these videos. If you do like the videos, please press the bell notification so that you can hear us more uh, and listen to us as well. Uh, so, thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Rajshekar, Roshit, and Makar. Uh, too many more.